Hey, being in life. Today we're going to be going over some of the topics that I have today with me. I'm starting an information journey on the benefits of breastfeeding. Because I'm a new mom, and this is my first time starting to do this. I have a breast pump that's from Even Flow. And it's not too shabby. But look, so I said, did you know? And this has five things on here that I'm going to read to you guys. And I'll take a picture of some of the information that I got to slap it on the back for you guys to be able to see it later. It says, congratulations on your decision to breastfeed. Did you know? Breast milk is easily digested and provides the optional mix of nutrients and antibodies for babies to develop and be healthy. Breastfed infants have lower rates of hospital admissions and medical problems, including ear infections, diarrhea, and allergies. Mothers who breastfeed show decreased risk of breast and ovarian cancer, anemia, and osteoporosis. Nursing helps the uterus contract to its pre-pregnancy size and also uses extra calories Calories helping mothers to return to a healthy weight. Breastfeeding saves money as breast milk is is free and breastfeeding results in lower health co care costs. Which is some good ones on here. Also, uh, another packet that I got, it has some other benefits on here. And like I said, most of the videos for now, I'm going to be reading straight from here because I'm learning as well, just as you guys are learning. But as I get more information, of course, I will have more knowledge, and then I will just have the link to the information to include into the video with you guys. So it says, why is breastfeeding beyond six months important? Breastfeeding beyond six months can help improve the long-term health and well-being of both you and your baby. Health benefits and emotional benefits. The health benefits are breastfeeding continues to provide protection against illness for as long as feeding, breastfeeding continues. The longer your child breastfeeds, the less likely he, he is to become overweight or develop diabetes later in life. The longer you breastfeed, the lower your risk of breast cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. The emotional benefits. Nursing can be a great way to comfort your older baby or toddler when he is ill, tired, upset, or hurt. Many moms will tell you this is one of the greatest benefits of nursing beyond six months. These are just a few of the reasons that the American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Academy of Family Physicians, and the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommend breastfeeding for the first year of your baby's life and after that for as long as mutually desired. So right now, that's why I'm researching because I'm still in the health benefits part. I haven't begun to start the nursing part, so I'm not necessarily on the emotional part, but just on basically pumping him and the nutrients I can still provide him as we are um, starting our journey to get to the emotional benefits. So what if the baby is teething? Breastfeeding can continue even when your baby is teething. Physically, it is impossible to bite and nurse at the same time. This is because your baby's tongue is between the bottom teeth of your breast. However, teething can cause your baby's gun to hurt and itch. Some babies may try rubbing their gums on their mom's breast to soothe the soreness. Here are some tips to avoid this. Take your baby off the breast when he is no longer actively nursing. If you feel your baby begin to bite down quickly, begin bring, bring him in close to you. This will cause him to open his mouth. If baby does not open his mouth, insert your finger into the corner of his mouth to break the suction. Gently but firmly say no and wait a few minutes before offering the breastfeeding again. All right, and then also it shows us how to um, introduce solid foods as well. They say around six months is when we begin that. Like I said, that's a later um, journey for me also. He's only two days right now. He's two days, so... I'll start researching that one a little bit later, but right now I'm interested in what's going on with this breast milk type of stuff and why humans even have to be breast milked. That's what I'm trying to figure out. There's some good points in here, though. So it says, can I nurse my older infant or toddler in public? It says, breastfeeding is breastfeeding in public is protected by law in the state of Texas. This means that Texas that in Texas you can breastfeed anywhere you and your baby have a right to be. Nursing an older baby or toddler privately in public can be a little trickier than nursing a younger baby. Older infants and toddlers are easily distracted, do not like things covering their heads, and tend to move around a lot when they are nursing. As your baby gets older, it is easier to predict his nursing schedule. If you do not feel comfortable with nursing in public, try the following. Breastfeeding right before you leave your home or a comfortable nursing location. Offer express milk in a cup or bottle. Offer a healthy snack. 
or distract your child with a toy, book, or magazine. Uh, he may just want to be held by you. So, yeah. That's what I got from the information from this. And like I said, I'll have it a picture of it so you guys can read it also. What was interesting in this guide that I just got, um, it was basically saying, um, will working and breastfeeding work for me? And it says, moms in almost every line of work are continuing to breastfeed, including college and high school students, teachers, waitresses, retail workers, administrative staff, members of armed forces, construction workers, sales and manufacturing workers, and well-known celebrities. With a little planning, you too can successfully return to work and continue to breastfeed. Now, um, it has a little, um, a little, what's it called, chart on here, grid on here. And it's basically the same, um, schedule that I use to breast pump mine. It says for zero six months, you usually are supposed to be, um, at least feeding them breast milk at 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 12.30 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5.30 p.m. So that's the exact schedule I have. The video I posted earlier about showing you guys the cup schedule I got, that was the times you told me they were going to do. So I said, that's good to know. That's good to know. I'm not sure if everybody keeps the same schedule or not, but some good ones on there. So um, 6 to 12 months sample pumping schedule is the same. So 0 to 6 months is which I'm at right now. It will be the same for the whole first year. So the first year is going to be the same routine, the same time every day continually either pumping or breastfeeding and that's even if you are including the solid foods i'm guessing because they said um on here they have a schedule for pumping schedule so i'm just guessing it might just be a little extra milk it just depends also here it says the temperature because as you guys seen you guys probably was concerned why didn't she put it into the refrigerator? Why did you make your own refrigerator room? It says, um, for locations, they have several locations on here that um, are on the grid. The counting top location is um, best used within three hours. Still safe to use within three hours. And the temperature is room temperature must not be higher than 85 degrees or 29 degrees Celsius. Containers should be covered and kept as cool as possible. Which is basically how mine is, as you guys saw. Second one, it could be an insulated cooler bag. And this is best used within 24 hours. Still safe to use within 24 hours. And keep ice packs in, co in contact with milk containers and limit, on limit opening the cooler bag. The refrigerator method. Best used within 3 days. Still safe to use within 5 days. At, a below, um, at or below 39 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius. Freezer section inside of a refrigerator. 2 weeks. Is best within use, still safe to use within two weeks, and the temperature is at or below five degrees or minus 15 degrees Celsius. And then the freezer with separate door or deep freezer is best used within six months, still safe to use within 12 months, and below zero degrees Fahrenheit or minus seven degrees. So the interesting one that I see is freezer. Freezer, so the frozen milk. You can just take it out like a little slushy for the baby, and it still will be good within six months. So that means if I pump right now and I put one into the freezer, and I bring it out six months later, he'll still be able to drink it. That's what that means. He'll be able to drink it. But, I mean, would it be watered down? Would it still be the same type of milk? Would he be interested to drink it? These are things that are weird and strange that, you know, I might try out the house. I don't know. I might put it into the outside freezer. And then, say, on my birthday, I just bring it out and I have them drink it like a little margarita. We don't know. These are some nice ones on here. So, so these are some good points. These are some good points. Because, like I said, I mean, all of us humans had to be breastfed some type of way. I can't remember when I was breastfed. I can't remember. So we don't know what anybody's technique. But, I mean, I guess you always can be, you know, creative with the things that you do. But it also has, like I said, health and emotional benefits based off what you do, how you do it, and the relationship that you have with your child. So these are things that we're learning because I'm starting to learn some stuff, too, just by um, pumping milk just as a mother. That's what I'm starting to learn some things, too. So that's why I really got interested on what all is going on with breastfeeding because I know that I probably was breastfed as a baby. But some women actually don't breastfeed. They choose just to go to, with the Similac or just with the formula type of milk. It just depends on what type of person you are. So I wanted to start researching this type of stuff. 
so yeah um continue to like share subscribe and comment and let me know about what you guys have to say